Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, in the second video we will take a look at the Canadian dollar because on the gold market mostly we have talked everything yesterday uh, situation hasn't changed significantly so it overall stands the same but on the Canadian dollar we need to update our long term view so if you remember uh, it's approximately a month ago we, we talked about the large three drive sell pattern that uh, has been formed on the Canadian dollar so you rem probably remember that it's first drive, second drive, third drive and third drive has been completed by the butterfly shape and we said this downward action should happen at least 30% of the butterfly because when the market completes the 30% of the butterfly the butterfly pattern treats as completed uh, so the minimum response, minimum reaction on the market on the destination point of the butterfly should be 30% retracement and now uh, we mostly stands at this point so our long term stop um, minimum target of this setup is completed uh, later maybe market will fall to the downside and, and show the deep reaction but this is not uh, the uh, object uh, of the today's video today we are mostly watching for a short term stop take a look that this is uh, it's really pretty nice support area so it's a really strong area because it's daily chart and you can see this is confidence support of the two FIB levels and take a look, this is the target of the ABC top T pattern. So actually we have here got this cheap to pi pattern, right? So this is by Judd Napoli, very strong support is confidence with the agreement. It's a combination of the strong FIB levels and target of the ABCD extension. So this is really very good background for upward action. At least some response on this support area market should show. Besides, if you'll take a look at the crude oil prices, uh, you'll see this daily chart that crude oil is dropping. It uh, also stands in favor of the possible bounce on the Canadian dollar. It's right here. Uh, in general, it mostly looks even as a maybe upward continuation could ha could happen. But anyway, at least minor bounce here should follow. So it will be minor for a daily chart, but on the intraday charts, this really could be a significant bounce. What I would like to say is that here, guys, is pretty nice um, short-term bullish setup that could be used for a scalp trade. On the fallout time frame chart, we also see that market has completed minor A, B, C top O, P target here. So this is the extension that's formed on a final stage on the CD leg of the larger daily ABCD pattern. So OP target also has been completed. And take a look, this is also weekly period support run stands here. The only thing that uh, we do not have yet is the clear bullish reversal pattern on the hourly chart. So as you can see here, we do not have any hand shoulders or double bottom or butterfly buy, something of that sort. It's a choppy consolidation, but at the same time we have bullish divergence with the MACD at the major daily support this is important and the typical action of this housing of the downward price behavior so it's kind of the it's very often forms something of did not know maybe return back up to uh, this resistance later it could be so I suggest that here it could become some kind of the wide maybe hand shoulders shape could be formed it's very typical for for the market it's uh, normal price behavior in the current circumstances also as a part of this possible reversal uh, consolidation a lot of different patterns could be formed here maybe got this triple to buy will be formed on the this market will return right back up to the let's call it as a neckline it's return right back up here it could be ABC retracement that will be an opportunity for taking long position and so on so uh, 
we don't know uh, clearly how it will happen, but we see the signs that it's really very soon could happen, especially because we stand on a very strong daily support. So maybe it makes sense to wait until the Fed meeting results will be announced. But anyway, that's just the setup on the Canadian dollar that's worth of our attention that you could keep an eye on. So it's not necessary that you should jump in immediately right now, uh, but and maybe even this all this also possible because um, market stands very close to the bottom of the consolidation. So you need just to please stop below the OP area, uh, 29.67. So it's, all, it's uh, the ABCD patient that's starting right from the top. So maybe it also could be the decision, right? Or you could wait for announcement of the Fed meeting results. So it's also another way how you could act, wait for a clear bullish or so patient. What I would like to say is that currently the Canadian dollar stands at the point where the trading stop could appear very soon. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but it's, this is the background that is very good for short-term trading. And I think that we could uh, keep an eye on this uh, scenario and see how situation will develop around this area. So just wait for uh, clear bullish pattern that could be formed here and this probably will give us a good opportunity for trading on the daily on the hourly basis.